Woman abuser, bad boyfriend, trash person. All words I can use to describe, I'm Alex. A YouTuber with more than 2.1 million subscribers has absolutely gotten outed by his girlfriend for doing some horrible actions. And when I say horrible, I mean assault, bad language, destruction of property, and physical abuse against his now ex-girlfriend. Basically, on one peaceful Twitter morning, a day like any other, I'm Alex's ex-girlfriend came out with claims that he both physically and emotionally abused her and that he destroyed her property. Alice, the woman making these allegations, released several videos and audio logs of their interactions in a Google Doc along with an 82 page statement. Quiets the case on I'm Alex, and you know what, I'd just like to say, I kind of hated I'm Alex. I watched a Diesel Patches video on him, another commentary YouTuber, explaining his false allegation antics, and from that point forward, I had a distaste for the man I'm Alex, or should I say, living smelly garbage. Okay, Alice detailed her side of the story, and she alleged that I'm Alex destroyed her property, got physical in fights, and called her a WH word dealing with sex, a psycho, and a certain racial slur, and several other derogatory terms. A really disgusting video depicts I'm Alex threatening her physically while they were in a Discord call saying, and I quote, I'm going to bash your head against a wall with a brick if you don't shut the up. In another video, he calls her a dog and that she should lay down. She says it's all her effing problems. He called her the N-word, lots of swearing and diverting of blame and general non-niceness. Alice also claims that he destroyed some of her belongings when she picked them up after moving out, like her monitors, camera, and keyboard, which is just a complete move, I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh, just break her stuff. Um, I'm Alex said in other calls and messages that he hated her, she made his life much more difficult, he had a general distrust of both her friends and some of his other friends, he was being very narcissistic, and incredibly distasteful, saying he had no fond memories with her. I quote, actually none. <laughs> the full quote is, I have no fond memories with you. Actually none, with two periods between actually none. She had dozens of screenshots, you know, millions of screenshots. And then he began to say, here to apologize. I'm sorry, followed by, I'm upset and I miss you, and I want everything to be normal. I'll do everything to get you back starting today. Near the end of her statement, Alice had this to say. There's so much more I could talk about, but I really don't want to relive it any longer. This was an awful toxic relationship. I should have left two months in knowing, finding out what kind of person he actually is. That's what happens when a narcissist meets an empath. They feed off it. Okay, I don't quite understand an empath. I think empathy is just a basic emotion, but yeah, narcissistic people like feeding emotion, and it's very draining. I had communicated my best, made him aware of what made me uncomfortable, and it wasn't listened to. All that said, Alice admitted to her faults as well, saying that she slapped Alex in the face during one of their fights because she felt threatened. I'm not afraid to own up to anything I've done, because I've only ever reacted after the abuse was drilled into me. Additionally, Alice claims to have more evidence that she was withholding from legal reasons. For legal and obvious reasons, I wouldn't attach all the evidence I have, but in due time, it may be made public. He's tried to get me to say quiet online, and has suggested he would deny all of this. If this happens, I'll release more undeniable evidence. And she said the reason for leaking all this is that she didn't want another woman to go through this and wanted to, and I quote, make it public how horrible this person with a platform is. Follow the head river. If you'd like to read her full statement, it's on Twitter, and don't worry, I basically summed everything up for you anyway. So, this is a pretty open and shut case. I'm Alex is a horrible person, and that's pretty much the end of it. Wow, he is actually a really disgusting, degenerate person, I'm gonna lie. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Another YouTuber goes down for some horrible fucking thing. But trust me, guys, that's not gonna happen to me. I'm gonna be like the moist critic. Really hope that doesn't age badly. Okay, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you. Peace.